In this lesson, we'll look at an overview of what you will learn in this course. Starting out, we'll look at an introduction of Revit Structure 2015. We'll talk about the interface. We'll look at the actual shortcut keys. We'll talk about the working files that come included with each lesson. We'll start about working with views. We'll talk about templates. And then we'll look at different types of families, such as system families and in-place families. From there, we'll look at what's new in 2015 as it relates to structure. Then we'll look at the basic creation tools, such as how do you start a project, how do you maneuver in 2D, or how do you view the model in 3D. And then we'll look at more in depth at the ribbon, specifically the structure tab, foundation tab, and the reinforcement tab. Then we'll talk about some basic editing tools like filtering and selecting, moving and copying, even rotating, mirroring, arraying, a line tool. And then we'll get into groups and talk about some best practices of groups. Then we'll start our structural projects. We'll start by creating a standalone structural project. Then we'll link in additional Revit files. And then we'll talk about how to monitor these linked in files using Copy Monitor. We'll also look at messages if things are out of sync. Then we'll talk about work sharing and how to set up work sharing. We'll also talk about linking in other CAD files and different approaches to manage those CAD files. Then we'll talk all about views, section views, elevation views, callouts, view templates, scope boxes, section boxes. And then we get into building our structural elements where we start with our basic layout of levels and grids. From there, we'll talk about building upon the level and grids with columns and structural walls, different types of walls, different types of columns. And then we'll look at foundations, foundation walls, footings, pillars, pilasters, piers, slabs, and then certain conditions with slab edges. Then we'll look at structural reinforcement, rebar for example, how to add that to a floor, how to add that to a beam how to add area reinforcement or path reinforcements. And then we'll get into beaming and framing, how to place beams, how to modify beams, how to create beams on different angles, even how to attach columns to beams, or how do we update our beam intersections or our joints. Then we'll look at floors and slabs. We'll look at how do you create a floor system, meaning if it's a complex floor with different levels, such as your core, maybe your concrete, maybe a wood floor on top, how do you create that? Then how do you place it? And how do you create an opening within the floor? And then since we've drawn everything within our model, how do we document it? Starting with schedules. We'll look at our structural schedule, our column schedules, even material takeoff schedules. Then detailing, showing the finite details. How do we show a zoomed in view showing detail of the structural elements? How do we detail in 3D? Can we import detail? And what about our detail legends of all the symbols we use? And then we'll look at our sheets, the final documentation piece, where we put together our sheets, our title blocks, dropping our views on our sheets, adding revisions, dimensions, tags, and text. And then how do you print? And then lastly, we'll talk again about work sharing, this whole collaborative environment of setting up a central server for a project in Revit, and then having users synchronize their changes to that project so multiple people can work on that project at once. And then the final chapter is basically on presentation. How do you present the model in a rendering using different materials? How do you create your images, even export these images? And finally, how do you create a walkthrough to show a customer what the inside or outside of the structural 3D model would actually look like? So I hope you enjoy the course on Revit Structure 2015.